Hello and welcome. My name is Carrie and I'm from my new girl. And uh, today's will be a truth about growing up video. And I want to talk about you know getting through school. Now I know some people love school. My son uh, is one. He loves going to and from school. He loves lessons. He loves the environment. For me, it was a struggle. And I know that for some kids and young and young adults. You'll find it tough too. Um, for me, and so these are some tips on how to get through school. So the first one is is go in open minded, and that is go in. Don't expect, uh, don't have too much of an expectation of the school, but you know, get to know the place first. Um, you get to know your peers, um, well, and. And if it helps, which helped me, is watch other kids play and find that one person that you share things in common with. Um, and it's just about learning and growing, you know, you just have to sometimes uh, bite the bullet and just take each day that it comes. And just, just uh, the second you know, big tip is that let your peers know you're there. So I don't mean shouting, hollering them, or waving at them, or cheering and getting into their face, but just say hello. You know, the one thing I always found, that's how I met my friends, is by offering the crisps. So if you buy a pack of crisps, I know with COVID, you know, it's restricted, but if you bought like a, a box of sweets, uh, why not offer, offer them around? As long as you making sure that you know the one they take they eat, um, because if they don't wash their hands and they're picking, you know, they're being choosy, then it's like you know just pick a sweet. You know? <laughs> but that's how to break the ice is offer something that you know will be appreciative with your peers. And the third thing is, uh, you know, ask questions, and it doesn't matter what kind of question it is, ask questions. You know what? You know what? Will I get out of this lesson? And that doesn't mean to be out loud, just in your head. What am I going to get out of this lesson? You know what things don't will benefit me, and you know, and how can I better my concentration? And um, for me, it was scribbling, and a lot of teachers tell you off for that, but it used to help with my concentration and take in. What was being said, but obviously, but it would often be I love her, Tony Stamp, because I was obsessed with the bill <laughs> when I was at school. Um, and I was, it was a, I'd have to watch it and I'd have to record it on my video recorder. I just didn't want to miss an episode, and it kind of inspired me to, um, you know, just find, go through what I did like about this and. and if there are things that you're not interested in, then just, you know, just write down the things that you did benefit from it that can help you. Instead of tell, do you need some more support, for example? How can I get more response? And that's the other thing, as I did a video a long time ago about finding your voice, and that's very important. And that is, you know, ask questions like, uh, to do, I'm not understanding uh, this, you know, understanding, you know, how to to get through my homework, you know, what, uh, is there any more extra support I can get because I'm struggling. And never fear that, never fear that you, you have to stay quiet about it. You know, if you're struggling at school, it's just secondary to school, uh, where there's a lot more strictness involved and more rules that you have to follow, is, you know, raise your voice. If you, and then you challenge them to say, look, I'm really struggling with this. And talk to your parents, talk to the teacher, and you have them talk about it as well with you to find out how you can better yourself through your lessons that you're particularly interested in but want to do better in because you know uh, it's about getting what you can out of school and you know and just taking these days it comes. Um, another thing is you know a uh, time of the month so I'm doing PE what I would say is pack spares of things take some sanitary towels in your bag take a packet of them if it helps uh, ask if you can, ha I don't think you'd be allowed to carry um, paracetamol, but some schools, not all, used to administer it to you, but if they, if, if that has changed now, 
certainly obviously because of the COVID hand, hand, you know, just if you've taken a paracetamol in the morning, let your teachers know uh, or get your parents to tell the teacher you know, what age you are and just, you know, don't fear and if you are needing a little lot, let the teacher know, just say, speak to her quietly and just say that I'm on my period at the minute. Um, if I need to go to the toilet, can I make a desk to the toilet and work and, you know, find out where they are. If you, if you, you know, if you're having struggles, particularly when you first start your period, because it is a life change that you can't underestimate. It completely turned my world upside down, that's for sure. Uh, because it's something that you know you may prep yourself for, that you're not, your body's still not ready, you know. And it still is a massive transition, so imagine that with school. It can quadruple the anxiety, the, the, the pessimistic pessimist, thoughts, you know, all the things that could go wrong. So, you know, and pack spares of like take another school skirt with you in case you, you know, you do leak, that can happen. Maybe even too my. But, you know, just um, make sure you've got spares of clothing. So if you do, you know, have an accident, you've got clothes to change into. And again, let your teacher know so they can be on board with it, okay? Um, and so, you know, that's it really, that's, um, you know, some tips that can help you, but fear not, there's always somebody that you can uh, talk to about, you know, if you're struggling at school, and never fear, and never stay in silence, because, you know, you need to raise your voice, if you're struggling with something, you know, get the help, and ask for the help, so, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one, take care, bye bye.